So I think so now it's visible. Okay, so this is the paper. This is a sample question paper. Okay, and for biology, the code is 314. In total, we have uh, uh, 43 questions in the paper. And all questions are compulsory to perform. Okay, and marks are allotted accordingly, like from 1 to 16. This is MCQs, which carry one mark. 17 to 28 is objective type, which carry two marks. Uh, in this section A only. And section B is actually from 29 to 37, which are very short answer, carrying two marks each. Okay, that is around 30 to 50 words. Next, we have uh, 38 to 41, which is also short type answers, but three marks each. In section B itself. And this, uh, in this, we have long type answer questions from 42 to 43 for five marks, okay, which is around, you have to write around 80 to 120 words, it means more than a page, uh, around a page, you can say that, okay. So uh, the, we'll start with qu our question number one, that is the leaf of a plant is example of, okay, so just a second, the leaf of a plant. So either it's leaf, either it's stem or root. All these are the plant organ, okay? So this is an example of an organ. Leaf is an example of an organ. So the correct answer for this question will be B, which will give you one mark. Moving further, okay. moving further, which out of the following belongs to prokaryotic kingdom? So if we are uh, looking for a prokaryotic cell, we may not find the answer. But if we know about eukaryotic cell, if we exclude it, like amoeba is eukaryotic, okay, algae is eukaryotic, okay, diatoms are eukaryotic. But blue-green algae, BGA, as it represents algae, but it's not algae, it's a cyanobacteria. Okay? And cyanobacteria refer to prokaryotes. Okay? So, answer B will give you one mark. In option also, we have one more question. We'll discuss that one also. Why is parenchyma is not a complex tissue? What are complex tissue? Complex tissue are those which are made up of more than one type of cells. And we know that parenchyma is made up of only one type of cells. Okay. Complex tissue in plant system is only two. Okay. That is xylem and phloem. Okay. And they are made up of different type of cells. Tissues are what? First of all, you need to understand tissues also. So if you don't know about tissue, tissues are the uh, means uh, the group of cells which function, which are similar in function and origin, they are known as tissues. Okay. Now, complex tissues are actually different kind of tissues. Okay. We have simple and complex. So simple tissues are made up of one type of cells. Complex made up of more than one type of cells. So xylem and phloem are the only the complex tissue. Rest parenchyma, sclerenchyma, colenchyma, all of them are simple tissues. So why parenchyma is not a complex tissue? Made up of only one type of cells. That is why it is not a complex tissue. Okay. So B will give you one mark. The faulty functioning of an endocrine glands make a person very short or very tall. First of all, understand what are endocrine glands. Okay. Endocrine glands are those glands which screen. Sorry. Which secrete hormones directly into blood streams. Okay. 
Now, these endocrine glands are located in your entire body. But the question they are asking that the endocrine gland, uh, it has faulty functioning, then it can make a person either very tall or very short. So basically, this uh, tallness or dwarfness is basically uh, has means uh, basically uh, governed by a hormone known as growth hormone. Growth hormone. Okay. Or GH. Okay. So this growth hormone is released by a gland known as pituitary gland. Which is located in your brain. And also known as master gland. Because it releases all the tropic hormones. Tropic hormones means all the different means it actually controls other endocrine glands also for releasing the hormone. That is why it's a master gland. Next, which of the following helps in maintaining posture and balance of human body? So basically, your balance, posture, your walking, each and everything is maintained by an organ known as cerebellum. Okay. So a person who actually a uh, uh, alcoholic or drinks alcohol more, in that person, the cerebellum does not work. That is why uh, they have different uh, walking style. Okay. And they fall also. That is the main reason. Moving further. A pollen grain uh, in its external view is drawn over here. The substance which is the chief component of the external layer. See, if you see this external layer, first of all, understand what is pollen grain. Okay, we'll move towards layer as well. Pollen grain are what? Male gametophyte. Pollen grain are what? Male gametophyte. Gametophyte means which carries the gamut. Structure. Which carries the gamut. Gametes. Now, pollen grain is a structure in which the gametes are present, male gametes are present. Now, the structure has outer layer, inner layer. Okay, so the question is asking us about the outer external layer. So, outer external layer is always carved in different shapes and which will be specific for each and every plant. Through this carving of external layer, we can also means the person who study in this field they can identify that this carving is basically for this type of plant or this is for mango or this is for uh, banyan tree or this is for sunflower tree like uh, sunflower uh, pollen grain. So they can are specific to uh, each and uh, every plant. So this is made up of a strongest substance uh, because why we call it as a strongest substance? Because there is no chemical till now which can degrade this uh, molecule or this uh, substance. So this substance is known as sporopollenin. So the answer will be D. Okay. Developing pollen grains in an anther are nourished by. So... They are actually asking about nurse cells. Okay. And the nurse cells are always tapetum. Okay. So these are innermost in nature and they nourish the uh, developing pollen grains. So the answer is C for this. Moving further. Now they are asking the question of electrical impulse in a neuron. Neuron is what? Neuron is a structural and functional unit of your nervous system. 
Okay, like cells is made up of, bo our body is made up of cells. Similarly, your nervous system is made up of neurons. Now, these neurons carries the impulse, which we call it as electrical impulse. Why electrical impulse? Because there is actually change of positive and negative charge. And we know that in battery or any electric, uh, uh, electrical uh, thing, there is always a connection of anode and cathode positive and negative. Similarly, over here, it is uh, same, not same to our electricity, but yeah, somewhat positive and negative is traveling. So that is why we call it as electrical impulse. Now, this electrical impulse, how it travels from where, they are actually giving the direction. So if we draw the diagram for electrical impulse, so this is, I am drawing the structure of neuron so that you can understand easily that from where it travels. So this is dendrite. This is exo. Uh, this is cyton. This is exon. Cyton is also known as cell body. This is exon. And this one is finally the exon ending. So from dendrite to cell body to exon to exon end. So the correct answer will be D, which will give you one mark again. In sixth question in glycolysis, glycolysis means when there is breakdown of glucose. Call it as glycolysis. Okay. And breakdown occurs of glucose, which is a six carbon molecule, and it breaks down into three carbon molecules, total two, which is pyruvic acid. And in this breakdown, it will actually uh, form two molecules of ATP. So the answer is two, which will again give you one box. Okay. Two molecules of ATP and two molecules of NADH2 is also formed, but they haven't asked the NADH2. They only ask just ATP molecules. One molecule of NADH2 will give you three ATP. Okay. If they have asked the total net gain of ATP, then multiply this three by two because we got two NADH2. So it becomes six ATP plus two ATP the answer will become in that case 8 ATP. But over here, they just ask the ATP molecule. So that is why only 2 ATP were formed. NADH2 and FADH2 will be higher energy molecules. Next question. The structure from which a new filament of spirogyra is emerging, zygospore. As simple as that. Given below are the pairs of modes of vegetative pro uh, propagation or reproduction. Give their unmatched pair example. Okay, just a second. It got closed. Just a second. Okay. So the answer for this is directly potato. Why? Because potato is tuberous stem. It's a modification of stem. It is a modification of stem, not root. If here sweet potato was written, then only it will be right. Now, the mode of reproduction in Chlamydomonas where the gametes are morphologically identical. So just remember one thing, when there is a identical gamete, we call that thing as isogamete. What we call isochem. So the answer will be B. Next, Ladic cells in human testis secretes or produces a hormone known as testosterone, hormone known as testosterone, which helps in formation of sperm or spermatogenesis. 
the embryonic cells that get implanted into the human uterus okay so zygote will never be implanted so the blastocyst is the stage which where the implantation actually occurs okay blastocyst is the stage in which uh, the layer get different uh, in prophoectoderm prophoectoderm get differentiated and inner cell mass next a yellow pea pod bearing yellow seeds reflects both dominant and recessive characters which is the correct statement what they are saying a yellow pea pod has yellow seeds See, for yellow seeds, yellow seeds is dominant. And yellow pea pod is actually a recessive character. Okay. So, yellow pod color is recessive. Yellow seed color is recessive. No. Both characters are recessive. Both characters are dominant. No. Yellow pea pod is actually recessive character. This first statement is correct, which will give you one dot. Choose wrong option. To get rid of obesity, control your diet and avoid. This is very general question. Avoid fried foods. Avoid food items rich in carbohydrates. Okay. Avoid eating vegetables. Eat enough fruits. What you must avoid? Avoid fried foods. Rich in carbohydrates will give you energy. Of course. You don't get fat, but you get energy instantly. Okay, so this is the correct uh, name. This is uh, the wrong control. So, and just a second, choose wrong option. This is avoid eating vegetables. See, actually, question is asking wrong option. So, avoid eating vegetables. No, we should not avoid eating vegetables. We should uh, eat vegetables. Okay, so the correct answer is C, not B. C is the correct answer for 11. C. Among all the food constituents, the richest source of energy and also excess of which cause obesity is carbohydrates. Oh, just a second. Richest source of energy, they are actually asking, not fastest. Carbohydrates is fastest source of energy, which will give you instant energy. But fats are the richest source of energy and excess of fats can lead to obesity also. Okay. Moving further. Suggest a permanent suggest a permanent method of plan, family planning to a couple who have already have two children. Permanent family planning method means now they don't want any children, first of all. That is permanent method. So in permanent method, there is no chance of reversal. Okay, very least chance of reversal or no. So vasectomy. Vasectomy is an option. Vasectomy means when we cut the vas difference in males, which does not allow sperm to enter in urethra. Okay, and when sperm does not enter in urethra, they will not get transferred into female's body. So that is the one way uh, we can do a permanent family planning method for a person or for the person who has two children. Okay. Next, my nephew reads a book aloud clearly during the day, 
but cannot see the word on the same page at the night. Basically, the person cannot see in night, so it will have night blindness. It has been diagnosed with a deficiency of vitamin A. Vitamin A is actually, I tell you the details of this, that vitamin A is important for a pigment known as rhodopsin. Okay, and rhodopsin is present in broad cells. And broad cells means we have two different type of cells in our eyes, rods and cones. So rod cells helps us to see in the night or in the dark. So for dark vision, rod cells are important. And for this, vitamin A is important. So if there is less of vitamin A, less of rod cells, so the person will not be able to see in the night. So answer A will give you one mass. Marasmus and Quashiorca are in case of malnutrition. Okay. They are malnutrition case. Okay. Malnutrition of protein. Basically. Next, the antibiotic obtained from streptomyces or of tetracycline. This is, you have to remember a thing. There is no reason. Tetracycline. So, chlorotetracycline will be the correct answer. Which bacterium help us to set the milk into yogurt? Very easy. Lactobacillus. Okay. Fermentation has a number of industrial applications like in bakeries for preparing food breaks, um, bread, cakes and biscuits. In beaveries uh, for wine and alcoholic drink for production of wine, uh, vinegar and all, tanning industry, yes. So the answer is D. That is all of the above, which will give you one mark. So when there is option of or, you have to do one question only and write the option as well as the entire answer. Okay. So the teacher does not have to look what B is, what C is. Okay. Which of the following is involved in cell-mediated immunity? So, T-cells gives you cell-mediated immunity. And the other one is humoral immunity in which B-cells are involved. The other one is humoral immunity in which which cells are involved? B-cells. Okay. B and T-cells are the part of your immune system.